we'd have to have a quick look at the codes of these spark plugs and see what they mean. Here are the spark plugs and the codes. Now these codes aren't just a name for this particular plug. These codes actually mean something. It means something functional and structural about the plug. So I'll just explain why. So we'll start with NGK. And when we look at the codes, we see that the first letter of the code, B, relates to a 14 mil thread. So that basically means the thread here is 14 mil thread. So B is thread type. And P means projected insulator type. And what that means is, if we take a look at the end of the plug here, you can see a white part there. That's the insulator. That insulator there is insulating the electrode that creates the spark. When compared to this plug, you can see that the insulator there is down lower than the outer ground area. So it's what we call a projected insulator. It's a special insulator. And the reason for that is because these TS350s and TS360s being a two-stroke, if the fuel mixture is not quite right, or the air filter's dirty, or the HT lead's not fitted correctly, or the spark plug cap not fitted correctly, insufficient, and it's insufficiently combusting as a result, then what can happen is carbon can build up all around here. I realise the gaps are out of proportion on these, but I just wanted to illustrate a point. If we take a look at this plug, we could see it's got a projected insulator there, protecting the electrode. If we look at this one here, it's just got the electrode without the protected insulator. So on this plug, the electricity projects upwards towards the electrode and then arcs across, making a spark. It arcs from the electrode in the centre of the plug to the ground electrode. Basically that's the earth and it arcs across and that creates the spark. And it's the same with the electrode on its own. The trouble comes when this carbon build up. So they've got carbon here, a lot of carbon built up. And to illustrate the point I mentioned earlier, instead of the electricity coming up through the electrode, arcing across, electricity always takes the path of least resistance and basically it co the electricity comes up to the electrode Instead of going that way via a spark and arcing to earth, it finds earth this way. And that's when problems occur, insufficient combustion. If that level of carbon was to build up here on this insulator, all we'd get is a lot of carbon built up there, but it's touching the insulator. So it's not actually touching the electrode. And so normal firing can occur, normal arcing across from the electrode to the ground electrode. So normal combustion. That's the reason our TS350s and 360s use a projected insulator. It basically protects the spark plug from any carbon that might occur and start to build up on the plug. So that's another reason this plug is perfect for our TS350 and 360. So P relates to projected insulator type and that relates to its construction. Now M means compact type. And what that basically means is it's a compact size. When you compare it to some plugs out there, when you compare it to this one, you can see it's ideal for our little engine. So M means compact type and also relates to its construction. R means that the plug has a resistor built into it, built inside the plug to reduce ignition noise. Also machinery and cars etc have plugs with resistors if they have any delicate electronics so that the electric produced by the spark plug is reduced by the resistor so it doesn't affect the function of the electronics on the machine itself or on the car itself but the TS350 and 360 do have resistors in their plugs and still recommend that they do so so R relates to the construction got a built-in resistor 7 relates to its heat rating so its operating temperature basically if we look at values from 2 up to 10 2 being hot running hot temperature and 10 running as a cold temperature our plug runs at around 7 so it runs at a sort of medium heat. Now if we look again at these two plugs in comparison, obviously you can see this one's a lot longer with the thread. Normally the longer the insulator, so if we look down there it goes right down to the bottom, the hotter the plug runs. This plug runs hotter and can burn away a lot of the carbon to prevent any arcing across. So this being a mid-range heat plug and the insulator only going so far, the projected insulator does its job of protecting against carbon. And the reason these small spark plugs are used in the TS350s is that they're small and compact, just right for the size of the engine. And that's why we use this type of insulator. That's why it's really important as well that you choose a plug with the insulator 
and A means special design. The firing end is a special design, so the whole firing end there that we've just mentioned is the special design. So we can see why the BPMR7A is a good plug for the TS350. Now let's see why the Bosch WSR6F plug is also a good plug for this machine and what characteristics are similar to the NGK one. First of all, if we look at these first two letters, together they mean the same as the B on the NGK. So together they mean 14 mil thread. So that's one similarity. But in addition, Bosch also add that this code also means 19 mil socket. And all that means is this part here, the hexagon part here, the socket size part. So basically what Bosch have had this code mean is 14 mil thread, 19 mil socket. And that's the size of the socket you need to tighten the spark plug. So that's quite descriptive. R basically means resistor, as does with NGK. So we've got a 14 mil thread spark plug with a 19 mil socket and inside the spark plug is a, an interference resistor. The number six relates to its heat rating. Like we said with the NGK from two being hot, 10 being cold, seven was a sort of mid-range. It's similar with the Bosch, we've got a six. So it's still a mid-range. In Bosch terms, F represents it being a short reach spark plug. So it represents the thread length and the position of the spark plug. Just to put that into perspective, it basically means thread length, so the, the length from there to there, and the fact that it's a short reach plug. When we compare it to this plug, which is a longer thread length, and that's a longer reach plug, it reaches longer into the cylinder, reaches further in. So as a result of that, the sparking position, if you like, will be in different positions in the cylinder. The sparking position for this will be further down, and this will be further up, obviously. So that's basically what the codes mean, and they are the reasons why these two plugs are so good for our TS350 and 360. As you can see there, NGK have got far more codes when they're explaining this plug. So they're just far more descriptive, basically. They've just put more information there relating to the plug than Bosch have got there. But these two plugs are equally as excellent for these machines. If you look up the manufacturer's recommended guidelines, you'll see that they do recommend these two. So now we know why these plugs are ideal for our machine. Really is important to stick to them. For the price that they are, it really is best to go out and get the right plug. And you will get the best out of your machine, certainly from a plug perspective. And apparently, according to the still manual, no other plugs can be used other than those that they recommend. Because these recommended plugs have the correct electrode size for optimum performance of the TS350. I've always used this plug and that's only because the company I worked for as an apprentice when I used to work on these machines used to order these plugs in. But I've also used these plugs and I can say from my experience that they're equally as good. Another fantastic plug to use is the Champion RCJ6Y. When we look at the codes, we see the similarities to our other plugs. The R there means resistor type. The CJ means 14 mil thread. The 6 meaning a mid-range heat, just like the others. And the Y refers to a protected core nose. That basically means the projected insulator. So the Champion RCJ6Y, brilliant plug. Also recommended by Still. Now the torque setting for these spark plugs ideally is 27.5 newton meters. I have in the past seen threads stripped and I've seen these plugs not going tight enough. But if we stick to this, this is in fact what still does recommend, 27.5 newton meters. The electrode gaps should be 0.5 millimeter. So it's just important we get a good set of feeler gauges and regularly check between the electrode and the ground electrode. That one's actually okay. 